all welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make two super easy and super cute bee-themed crafts. Yes, I have a little bit of a cold in this video, so please just bear with me. I'm doing the best I can here. Anyway, stay tuned, I'll show you how to make them. I accidentally deleted the clip for the very beginning of this video. All it was is a little glass jar that I got from Dollar Tree. I spray painted it yellow and then spray painted the lid black. Okay, our paint has dried here. And now what do I have? This miniature honey dipper. Where did I get this? Hobby Lobby. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. I think there was six in a pack. It was pretty cheap. Now what I'm going to use here, this is the Cool Shot by Sure Bonder. And I have loaded it with a yellow glue stick here. And we're going to use this for the honey. Now because this is a Cool Shot, it doesn't get as hot as a normal hot glue gun, right? So the glue does not drip and run like normal hot glue. So when you're using it, just, just be careful. Just go slowly, like so. I think my kid's in the next room coughing. We've all had a cold recently. Just go around like so, very carefully. Like I said, it won't drip and run. So just kind of keep that in mind, depending on what you're wanting, you know, to make with this. And I'm just going to glob sew up on the top here. Okay. I'm just going to hold this until that glue sets up and it will not take any time at all for this to set up. So I'm just going to sit here and hold it for a few minutes. Okay. Now I just stuck that in this candle. Yes, that's a Halloween candle. Y'all, I burn Halloween candles year round. Okay. <laughs> but here's the lid to our jar. Now, what is this? This is a little bee and you could get these at Hobby Lobby. They're over in the section, you know, where they have like um, birthday party supplies and the baby shower stuff. But anyway, that's where this came from. And it has like these little legs on the bottom. And it also has a piece of wire coming out of it. And I've already cut that piece of wire off. So I am just going to put some glue here. Let's see, there was a scuff right there I wanted to cover. And I'm just going to glue it to the top of our jar here. Let's see. Should kind of bring it down a little. Just a little. Yeah, that'll look better. Oh, this stupid gnat. I swear. Yeah, that looks better than uh, just having it straight up and down. Okay, then that is gone because I just squished him. Ha! <laughs> you have flew up in the wrong house today there, buddy. So now, let me pick what side I want to be for the back. And this right here, I'm going to have this for the back. It started raining the other day because, yes, I'm filming this days afterwards because I got sick. Um, it had started to rain when the paint was still wet and I just didn't get outside in time to bring it in. But anyway, I'm just going to take this ribbon here and just run it around the top and then glue it down and then trim away the excess. Okay, now we're going to make a bow for our little honey dipper here. And again, I'm using this polka dot ribbon that I put there. Let's leave this for the tail and I'm just going to hold it between two fingers like so. Bring it around and then over that ribbon right there push it towards the back okay now when you pull it up the back make sure that the back of the ribbon is facing you we're going to go over and tuck it under this loop here go over and just tuck it under that loop there pull it through the other side tighten it down and there's your bow like so <laughs> Now, you just have to work with it because I got mine twisted. But, um, yeah, that's how I tie my little bows. Trim off the end, and there we go. Okay. Oops. Let's see. I want it to be on here like this. So, let's see how we can do this. Because this doesn't have, like, a whole lot of space or area, surface area is what I'm trying to say, to glue it here. So... Let's see. See how this kind of juts out there? I'm going to try to put that right there, like where the jar goes in. Just put some there and put some there just for the heck of it. Whoops. Glue string. Just hold it down just like so. And then I'm going to glue the bow right here. All right. 
that's done. And if you want to see me make that bow like in, in super slow motion where I really slow it down, once again, look in the description box. I'm getting glue off my finger. And look down in the comments and I'll have a link to my video where I make that bow. But now, you just put your lid on like so. And there is your cute little honey jar that you can set on your tiered tray beside the next craft that we're getting ready to make. What do I have here? This cute little, it's like a cutting board, a little miniature cutting board from Dollar Tree. Oh, it says wood plaque, but it looks like a little cutting board. And it's very thick and it will set up on its own. So I think it'd be pretty cute to go like on a tiered tray type deal. But anyway, I'm gonna be painting part of this. So I just have a piece of uh, cardboard here. Okay, it was a hang tag off of some paint brushes. And I'm just gonna kind of use that to draw a line. I know I sound congested. Um, listen, I started this video like three or four days ago, and then I got a cold, and I had to stop. So that's why I sound a little bit weird today. So you see, I just drew that line there just to kind of help me get to see where I want to put my paint. Let's put a little bit there. And then I'm just going to paint this part down here. We're going to leave this part up here like the natural wood color. But I'm just going to paint this section here. And of course, I'll do the sides as well. Let's paint this and then come back. Okay. Paint has dried. And now I just have some of this twine here from the Dollar Tree. Hold on. My glue gun is leaking a little bit. I'm just going to put a line of glue there. Oopsie. And I'm not worried about starting on the front here. Because we're going to have all this wrapped up. And you're not going to see the end of it. So I'm going to trim that off right here. Okay. Now I'm just going to wrap this around a few times. Just a, just a few times. How many times do you want to do it? Round and round and round we go. Okay. Ah, we'll stick it down on the back here, I reckon. Hello, fly. There's a fly in here. <laughs> oh, the lovely warm weather and the flies. Okay. That should be good like that. Okay, so now I have some ribbon. This was left over from last Christmas or Christmas before. But anyway, this is just plain old, you, you can see, black and white ribbon. You use whatever kind of ribbon you want. But I, let's put this down right here so that we can see about where it's going to be. Where it's going to be. All right. And then we want to start gluing down. I'm going to put my finger right there. I'll put a line of glue there, and then let's just glue this down here. Please be careful, depending on the ribbon you use, this hot glue will seep through. And my camera cut off. But now, what I was saying, please don't burn your finger. And now I'm just going to wrap this around, like so. Let's see. And then bring it around, and just put another blob of glue right there. And let's hold that kind of tight. And then let that glue set up. Okay. Now I have some of this yellow ribbon. And I think this came from Walmart. I think. Yeah. I'm not sure. Because <laughs> I just buy like a bunch of ribbon. And then I have it just laying all over the place. And a lot of times I don't know exactly where it comes from. I guess it's pretty safe to say it probably came from Walmart. Because <laughs> I just bought a lot there recently. Okay. So now we're just going to wait for that glue to set up and then take this ribbon and wrap it around and glue it down. Okay, now, do y'all remember the little bees that I made out of spoons? You remember these? These bees? <laughs> you remember these? If you don't, look down in the description box and in the comments and I will have a video link posted for you where I made these. Somebody had asked not too long ago, have you ever made a craft deal showing how you use them? I'm like, no, but I will sooner or later. All right, so let's see, because we don't have a whole lot of contact points on these little suckers. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue around the bottom of the wings, around the butt. And as you could see, it's kind of like on the bottom of the little antenna where we had glued those rhinestones. Let's see exactly where I want to get this little fella. Right there is fine. Oops, a little bit of glue. Let's wipe that off. 
I've got paint and stuff like all over my hands. I've got a table full of crafts going on over here. <laughs> I know y'all think I'm crazy. Like, oh my gosh, your hands are so dirty. I'm working. <laughs> I'm doing stuff. Leave me alone. All right. So now we have this. And, uh, do I want to put something else on there? Hold on. Let me check. Okay. I think I want to use one of these little flowers. This is just a little little tiny flower that came off of a bunch of flowers that I had gotten out. These came from Dollar Tree, I believe. Um, well, that just covered up the rope that we put on there. But anyway, you can see it from the side right there. All right. Go away, Nat. Got the window cracked open over here and all kinds of little critters are trying to come in. All right. So that is that. I think it's really cute. Like I said, these stand up on their own. So you could put them on a tiered tray or if you wanted to hang it up, you could take some of this twine and then just glue a loop on the back if you wanted to. So, you know, you have a couple options there. But anyway, just something fast and easy to put together when you need blah, blah, when you need a little something, something with which to decorate. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I will talk to you all next time. Bye.